Bullseye. <laughs> right then. What we're doing, lads, is we're going to have a little video today. Uh, Joe's will stick the balls on the tile, but the target's only four or five metres away. It's then about what you hit, um, whether you hit the target or not. This is about showing a little video about shooting and what we can do to get him as consistent as possible, i.e. drawing to the same place, getting your little dimp on the target. Uh, as you all know, Joe shoots the TTF, um, what's it called, the Phoenix. And um, he's getting good of it, you've got your aiming dimps, he's got his band set sorted, so we're going to watch his style, not the targets, not what he's hitting, concentrate on his style now for a few minutes and we'll see what we can do to put him right. So, uh, and stop exactly where you are mate, is that how you normally shoot? Yeah. So we're going to put a dot on the end of his thumb there, where, the, um, where his anchor point is. Now you should see in the video, Continuous accuracy, <laughs> looks like you've got a big fucking blue mole. <laughs> Excuse the language, but for continuous accuracy, uh, he needs to draw to that every time with his thumbnail. And as you can see, spot on. Strike for the centre again. So we'll watch him have another two shots, and getting your, um, your anchor point is just as important as getting your sight right on the tips. As you can see, look at that. Thumbnail spot on the anchor point. Something I've been working on a lot with him to make sure he gets it in the same place every time. And fair play to him, he's got it puckered now. Is that right? It's about a couple of mil off, but it's as close. You, can't, you can never get it millimetre perfect. Take another shot, but you, you're within a couple of mil every time, and that's good enough for now, if we, you know what I mean. And again, right then. Draw back, don't release this shot because I've seen a mistake straight away, yeah? I don't know if any of you have picked up on it. And it's all these little tweaks and little fiddly bits that you tweak right will make the difference between being a good shooter and a great shooter. What's wrong with that? Try and take your shot, you'll see. Take my shot? Well, draw back, don't release. Right then, straight away, yeah? As you can see, Joe stood there. You just moved them, then Forks was leaning back. That fork, there, you had it about, it was about like that before. To get it perfect, you want there, then both the bands. So could that be something to do with this? It's just the way you're holding those, mate. But keep it on. Draw back again. I'm a bit tired, mate. <laughs> Band's too strong for you, mate. Yeah, mate. As you can see, you want that. Just tweak that way. You want this angle there and that angle there, always 90 degrees. So go on, fire away. Remember, keeping it as you like. Good shooting, mate. I'll show you the target at the end of the video anyway. But next thing, he's locking that shoulder, that elbow, sorry. Lock that, let your hand go a bit, not so loose, but just hold it, don't grip it too tight. Lock your elbow. And anchor point, fork square, lock the elbow. And there you go. So there are other tips, the pouch release is a big thing, but we'll have a look at that in different videos. I use mine in that little crevice of my knuckle there. So his anchor point's pretty much bang on. His fork's square. His shoulders, his elbows lock. Sorry, fucking shoulder. Um, and he's shooting well. Now I can guarantee. Can I just show the dips in this fork, mate? The way he shoots is TTF with the aiming dimps. As you can see, you got the dimp in the fork there. He pulls back. Say we were aiming at Joe's nose, now we'd put <laughs> the dimp on his nose and if he gets that dimp right, he's anchor point right, which he's worked out, locks the elbow, he gets the bullseye probably nine times out of ten. It's pretty much the same as I, I'll just show you, it's the same theory I think. Just pick that up. So I'll draw back, lock the elbow, draw back, don't pull the frame that way or that way, you want to keep it square as you like, draw to your cheek. There you go, through the ball. Just take a couple more shots, mate, and then we'll show the target. And it's all these little things like locking your shoulder, drawing into the same place, putting your dimp right, keeping your fork square, putting pouch the, release. Putting the ball in the middle of the pouch. Yeah, ball in the middle of the pouch, good point, mate. That's as important as anything, that one. Any, t any points you can think of, mate, what we missed? I don't know, Joe. I don't know if I'm getting up to my anchor point every time. You're within a few mil, but you can't really, unless you've got something to draw up to. 
I told his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch one more, we'll show you the target. So this is what he's done to the target, it ain't that far away, it's about five or six metre, but it ain't, as I say, it ain't the point of the target. And this is where he's been shooting. As you can see, all the shots are in the circle, and the circle is, what size? Two and a half inch, they're all through there. Nice view of Joe's armpit there. But you can see where he's <laughs> put the majority. And, and that's what he does, he's good when he gets it. I'll just show you these catapults. I don't know where the scrap is. And it's, I believe it's the TTF. I've, you've seen this in other videos. You bang that dimp on your bullseye. You get your anchor point perfect. You get your shoulder, your elbow, sorry, locked out. And, and you shoot. And I guarantee you'll hit it. Keep your forks square. You don't want your forks like this or like that. You want them square. That's about it. So cheers. And thanks, Thank Joe. Cheers.